Hello everyone, Yoru here and today I'm gonna show you how to particle swap. So that means you take particles from one champion and can put it on abilities on another champion. So for example, what's easiest is to swap around auto attack files. So you can just, for example, give Syndra suddenly Lux par auto attack particles. You'll need a few tools for those to edit the bins, which I'm gonna link in the description. But yeah. So first of all, you will need the or original bins of the champion. So you will need obsidian. I'm gonna edit Samira's particles and my plan is to replace her auto attack with Heartseek Illusion's auto attack. So you wanna search for the Samira.what client. Now in data you will be able to see all the bins. So what you're interested in is everything with skin zero, because that's her base skin. So you will need the one inside the data folder. And maybe that one, because it ha includes skin zero. The root bin usually is n not important, but you will need the one with skin zero. So I'm just going to extract the selected files. So now you can see that it has some really weird name and for that you will need the obsidian packed mapping file which tells you the original name that was loaded in obsidian. That's basically the, basically the hashes because windows just can't display names like that. There's a limit to how many characters uh, windows can show as a file name. But you don't need to change the name back of course, it just gets changed when you import it again. So I don't need that file, I'm just going to drop that into data and now drop the whole data folder in the what client folder. So now I want, will need the files that I wanted to, re to replace it with. So first of all I said I'm going to take the Heartseek Illusion, so I'm going to need to find out the uh, the number of the skin. Illusion, 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 illusion. I'm just gonna scroll and it's skin 07. So I'm gonna open Lucian Sword now. And I'll need all bins that include 07. Which it does not seem to be any actually. So his particles for that skin all are gonna be inside the data folder bin for 7. So I'm gonna also extract those. Alright. Now what you need to do is actually put the particles in, because otherwise it won't know how to load. So you just want to add a, a second champion. Illusion, skins, skin07, and then copy in the particles folder, because it needs to know where the particles are. In theory you could change all the paths where the bin tells you that the particles are. But it's a lot of work, so this doing it like this also just works. So now you will need the bin reader UI. And you'll need this window. Now what I want to do is first of all check it. Uh, first of all, check out the mirror. So this is the hashed one. Now you can see all the file names. And W stands, or no, sorry. Uh, and MISS stands for missile, so it's basically a thing that travels to what, where we're targeting or the target champion.
and it does not seem to be anything more of interest in this bin. So I can also scrap scrap that. So it all should be in the other bin, which is in the character folder in skin zero. And yeah. Tar refers to target, and it's usually an effect which happens on the target that you target with your ability. Ca cast stands for cast. It's an effect that's on you when you use an ability, so the opposite of target basically. Yeah, that's basically all the important things for her, or in general, rather. And the easiest ones to replace as well. Of course, it's easiest when you have um, the same kind of name, so it's best to replace a target with another target, because it will match the best. But yeah, I know now that I will need this bin, and... Now let's also check out Lucian's bin, if it's the right one. So I'm looking for something like basic BA missile. Or it's also sometimes AA for auto attack or basic attack, can it be either. So that's also the right one. Now for this process I don't... If they are all in two bins only and not just scattered around everywhere, I can actually close the bin reader already because I don't need it anymore. What I now need is Rito bin, because I can't just open the bins. I will need to drop this in Rito bin to text, so I get a Python file which I can actually open. Which I'm gonna open in Visual Studio. I just like to edit my files for that. But you need a Python plugin. And I will need to do the same with Lucian. And I'm gonna rename it just for clarity. And I will also open that. Now, to get my, my ray around here, because it's quite the lo long files as you can see, you will want to go to s mm, edit. And you want to find something. And there you want to type in VFX system definition data and that weird bracket thing. And now I see something which I don't like. That for some reason her bins are still hashed. Because now you can't see like the name. Because usually like you can see in Lucian, it says the same things as there are in the bin reader UI. But here it's just hashed and some random numbers. But there's actually a way around that because as you can see, the particle name string and path still has the part behind it. So I'm gonna go into the bin reader again. And open the Samira what one uh, bin once again. So I'm looking for Q missile. Well, actually, auto attack missile. Never mind. Basic attack tar. Basic attack missile. Missile here. I'm just gonna open it, and here I can also see the particle name and the particle path. So I'm now just gonna type in that one. And here we have that one. So, you need to copy in your text. I'm just gonna go up all the way until I find the VFX system definition data again. I'm looking for something that's written on the second line. There. 
Now you just want to select all of that and copy in the uh, the code you just copied. So yeah, that's basically how you replace it. So now I'm just going to go save. Now you can leave Lucian 1 and Samira, you will need to turn back into a bin file. Because if you load a Python file, funnily enough, it just ha has doesn't have any effects at all. There's the particles are just empty. So you want to go to the Python file and go to text to read in and hope you don't have any errors. If you have an error, it's usually the best if you just look at the last line of the error and um, check this line out because it's easy to just forget a bracket or something and to get an error this way. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and start LCS and try the skin in game. So just create a mod, import the client mod client file and run. I don't have any leak sounds for whatever reason, but it's fine. Because just is in client. It's usually a good first sign if your leak doesn't crash, so that hope doesn't. Nice. Now I just need a enemy dummy and shoot it. And as you can see, it works now. Doing it this way also copies Lucian's sounds on her ability. Uh, on her, yeah, it just copies the original particle sounds. But yeah. I hope this tutorial helped you and see you.